Hey guys, it's Hannah again. Uh, this has got to be like the third or fourth time that I'm doing this part because I keep messing up. It's so weird to be doing it with the cube facing away from me. So, um, for both the first two steps, I'm going to end up like leaning over so that I can see what I'm doing. It's all muscle memory for me, so it's very difficult <laughs> for me to get it right. Um, okay. Uh, calming down now. After we have done two parts so far, each doing a third of the cube. Uh, now we're moving on to the top third. Okay. So after the last part, you could end up in one of four scenarios. Huh. My nose itches. <laughs> one of them is if you only have one single yellow piece on top, and that's that's fine. Um, I could not get back there for whatever reason. Um, so either of the following patterns will work for you um, for the two more common scenarios. They're all common. They're all extremely common. You know, the two middle ones. Um, the, ne the, the, the next one would be um, having this L shape um, on the top of your cube. And um, the third one is to have a straight line of yellow across your cube. And the fourth is to have the full yellow cross already. Um, if that's the case, just hang on, uh, either wait through the video for a little while or skip ahead to where I have the yellow cross on top. I did have it at the end of the last part, but otherwise I would be skipping this whole step and I don't want to leave you guys. It's a complete mystery there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you how to do this. If you have one yellow piece, either of these two patterns will work. The first one I'm going to do is for this um, L shape one. So, uh, the first thing you're going to want to do, the first three moves are always clockwise. The last three moves are always counterclockwise. There are six moves in this step, no matter which of the two patterns you use. So, your first one to, the first thing you want to do is turn your front piece clockwise. Then, this is for the L shape, remember. Then you want to turn your top piece clockwise, and then your right piece clockwise. Then you want to move your top piece counterclockwise, your right piece counterclockwise, and your front piece counterclockwise. And then you would have the yellow cross on top. Now, I'm actually going to show you the one with the straight line, too. Uh, it's so hard to get back on the other one. There we go. Okay, I actually did it in two tries this time. Alright, so with the straight line, you want it horizontal on your cube. You want, it, like, if you're facing it, you want it horizontal across. So, first you turn your front piece clockwise again. But this time you go to your right next and go put that clockwise. Then you do the top piece clockwise. Then you bring the right piece down with counterclockwise. You pull the top one counterclockwise. Then you pull the front counterclockwise. And then again, you'll end up with your yellow cross. Um, if, if you have the one yellow piece, then use either of the patterns. You will end up with one of the two middle scenarios, the L or the straight line. Uh, use whichever pattern is appropriate to get to the yellow cross, and you'll catch up just fine. Um, okay, so now that we're at the yellow cross, there are three new scenarios that you could end up in. One is to have no corner, no yellow corners on top. Um, another one is to have only one yellow corner. And the third is to have two yellow corners, like I have. Um, this is on top. Uh, this has nothing to do with the surrounding sides. Um, okay, so if you have no corners on top, then you, uh, you're going to want to pay attention to whatever piece is closest and to your left on, on the top edge, on the top layer. Um, you're going to want on the side of that corner that's yellow to be facing on your left if you have no corners on top. Um, 
if you have one corner, then you want to take that one corner and let that be the piece that's closest to you and on the left. Um, if you, with the yellow on top, there's no need to change where it is. Um, and if you have two, like I have, um, then you would want a yellow, a, the same, the same placing of the piece with the yellow side towards you. Um, and the pattern will be the same for all three uh, scenarios. You just need to make sure you're holding it correctly. Nothing bad's gonna happen if you don't. Like you're not gonna get completely. It won't completely throw everything off. Um, it'll just. It won't work quite as well, I suppose. I haven't actually tried what happens, but okay. So yeah, the pattern is the same for all three. Um, this is where I kept messing up before, and I couldn't stand it. Um, all right, so I'm gonna have this yellow piece towards me because I have two corners. So what you want to do is pull your right down, move. Hang on. Uh, that's why I kept messing up. You move it up. You put your right side up, which is clockwise. Um, you move your top piece counterclockwise. Clock it's clockwise. They're both clockwise. I'm sorry. <laughs> so your top piece goes clockwise. Then your right piece comes back down, counterclockwise. Then you move your top piece clockwise again. You pull your right back up. And you turn your top piece twice. And then you move your right back down. You'll have the yellow cross again. Um, it might you know, it might have a different number of corners. Your corner might be in a different place. Just readjust so that it matches what I said before. Um, right now I have one corner now. So it's going to be on my left and closest to me. We do the same pattern. We go up, clockwise, down, clockwise, up, two, clockwise, and down. And again, I'm... I still have to do it at least one more time. I think you should only have to do it three times, I believe I've heard. Uh, it might be four. But eventually you will end up with a complete yellow side. You'll see. So up, clockwise, down, clockwise, up, clockwise, clockwise, and down. And the top is completely yellow now. Okay, now I might have to keep leaning over because this is going to get tricky for me <laughs> otherwise. Okay, so now your top is all yellow. You've completed two-thirds of the cube plus that. Now we're going to focus on the sides. Sort of. So, the top layer on the side. Okay, that's what I meant. Alright, now you'll notice some of the cubes do fall in line. Some of the pieces are, do fall in line with where they're supposed to be. Like this red and green piece and this uh, orange and blue piece. Um, it, you might have something a little different, it, but um, I'll catch up to that. In, um, yeah, they should be on opposite corners, and it doesn't matter how you're holding your cube, just make sure that the corners are where they're supposed to be on opposite sides, matching the centerpieces um, of their kind. So, yeah, it doesn't matter how you hold it, but you want to pull the right down, the front goes clockwise, pull the right down again, then we're going to go to the back and turn that twice. It doesn't really matter which direction, I usually go clockwise. So then you pull, you push the right up, I'm sorry, uh, up, and then your front goes counterclockwise, and then you pull the right back down. And then you turn the back twice again, and then you're going to turn your right twice. And if you didn't end up with the corners on the opposite sides at first, now you're going to have been caught up. They're going to be on the same side. This is good. You want them facing away from you. And you're going to do the same pattern as before. Right down, front, clockwise, right down, back, back, right up, front, counterclockwise, right down, back, back, right up, right up. Okay, we're almost done. We're really, really close. So next, you want to line up your top so that 
as many pieces as possible are going to be in the right places. The only ones that shouldn't be are some of these, um, the, the top edge pieces. Those might not be in the right place. Sometimes you might have all four in the wrong place. I have only three. I have one correct one. Um, if you do have four, that uh, if you do have four wrong ones, that's fine. You're going to do the same pattern as we're about to, um, and you're going to end up with three after that. Uh, you're going to have one correct after that, um, and then you're going to do the same pattern, um, and then like everything will work out fine. So. Yeah, you want your correct one in the back, um, and you want to turn your front piece twice. Then, also before that, notice if there's a little bit of a pattern. If you have four wrong edges, you won't have a pattern. Just what I'm about to show you, just do that, and then you will. But, um, you see there's an orange piece in the green, there's a blue piece in the orange, and there's a green piece in the blue. Um, after you turn your front piece twice, uh, you're going to want to turn the top piece in the direction that those pieces would rotate to be in the correct color. So I would move it counterclockwise in this case so that the orange goes on top of the orange. Uh, it doesn't matter which direction if you have four wrong ones because they're usually like paired and they won't rotate correctly, but that's fine. After one time they will. So after you've turned your top piece, you pull both sides down, the right and the left down. Then you flip your front piece, you rotate it twice, you put your right and left pieces back up, uh, you rotate your top in the same direction as you rotated it before, so counterclockwise in my case. Then you flip the front twice again, and you have a solved Rubik's Cube! <laughs> So, yeah, that's it. Um, if you had any trouble, I'm sorry I'm not the best teacher. Um, but hopefully this helped you along if you were looking to solve or execute for yourself. If not, I hope I entertained you. Um, and so, yeah, that that's all. Um, it should be Wednesday for you guys now. You're now. My now is Sunday. Um. So yeah, um, you still got um, today and tomorrow, and probably even still part of Friday, uh, to register for Block Party still. I really want you guys to come to that. If you can find me, that would be really cool. Uh, this is such a small time channel. So I've had it for three years and I didn't know that I could upload videos. Uh, if you could come say hi, that'd be really cool. Uh, so yeah, I... I hope you've all enjoyed solving the Rubik's Cube in many different ways this week. Um, i got to figure out what I'm doing for tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, it'll be a surprise for all of us. So, on Friday, I don't know if I'll be putting up a video on Friday, but on Saturday, hopefully I'll be able to do a block party vlog. Maybe a little bit. I don't know how this is going to work. I can't bring my computer. I'm going to see if I can put together clips on my phone, put it in an email, hopefully download it onto my computer, and post it. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. There. Yeah. So I guess that's it. Wish me luck with the vlog thing. I've never done this before. Um, I don't have a face camera, so it's going to be really awkward camera angles. Um, but yeah, okay, I should stop talking now. But... I haven't been saying this lately, but please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see me keep making videos, uh, and please give me more tips and suggestions and anything, I guess. Um, and I, I guess that's it. Come to Block Party. I'll see you there, hopefully. If I find you, I will be there. And, yeah, see you later. Bye.